Hello folks. Well today I have to say something negative towards a big manufacturer, Horizon Hobbies. I don't like to do that, but those of you who know me know I'm not owned by any manufacturer and have certainly not received anything free from them. I also do my own flying, of which I have over 50 years of experience, so I make my own opinions and observations and hope you appreciate that. Why don't you stand in pilot seat either to test my machines, as most folks watch my channel to hear my opinion based on my experience. I do get satisfaction when I hear that I genuinely help someone. That's my payment, because I certainly don't make enough money to cover the cost of these machines and the time it takes to make the videos. So when I say that I have had great luck with all the Horizon Hobby helicopters and airplanes, I'm also saying that I'm disappointed in MQX quadcopters motor life expectancy. For the amount of money this simple machine costs, I would expect the motors to last more than a month. So that said, here's what happened. Well you all know I really like my quadcopter. I've been flying it, but I didn't think I flew it that much because at the last show I spent at least two hours trying to get it to run. Uh, first indication there was some trouble is when I start to fly it sometimes I would have to just kind of tap the motor like this and it would run but then all of a sudden after one flight it would not run and I spent two hours trying to rebind it bind it everything I could think of I called Horizon Hobbies they were fantastic about it the guy talked he told me that it needed two new motors well that surprised me this thing's a little pricey uh, I've got plenty of other uh, Horizon Hobby E-Flight stuff and I have flown and flown and flown never had a motor burn out. So you know, I think this thing's a little pricey so for these motors to burn out already if that's really what happened I'm kind of disappointed in that part. Um, if it is true then I would suggest you guys go ahead and uh, order extra motors. I'm going to need them because this thing likes to fly and you better get the props too because uh, you can't just interchange them, even the black ones. There's two different kinds of black ones, two different kinds of white ones, depending on the configuration you fly. These motors are directional, so the arrow on the circuit board shows which way the motor is supposed to spin, so it makes it easy to install. Okay, it's real easy to change a motor. I'm going to show you here. First, you got to pull this case off. You pop that off like that, and then just unplug the plug right here. Then you push the motor up out of its case, like that, motor's out, pop in a new motor, just like this, get down in there, make sure it's meshed, let me just plug the wires back in, like that, take your motor case, push it back on, and you're done. Okay, this is it, I've replaced both motors. Everything's spinning. See what happens. In the X mode. Yes. Oh, great. Everything's working again. Good. All right. They were right. Uh, so, the bottom line is... If I were you guys, I'd buy some extra motors.